So you are on a promotional tour right now, yeah. performing, doing interviews mm -hmm. in Europe. How do you like Europe? I love Europe. I love being over here. Um, I like watching the seasons change in Europe and being, you know, in Germany and in Paris and in London. I mean, that's all a girl ever could want. And uh, the days are long and the work is a lot, but um, the benefits are really good. <laughs> yeah, and you have several sold out concerts. That must be an amazing feeling. Yeah, um, we get to play here and there all around and um, we're just kind of testing the waters and seeing what people, um, how they respond and if they're going to come. And I guess they are coming because it's uh, sold out, which is cool. And the venues are very intimate for right now. And next year we'll have more of a production and um, maybe a little bit of a bigger venue. But for right now, it's the, it's the um, promotion of the record and the diehard fans. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And you can have a bigger show next year. Oh yeah. Okay. So your show right now is like right about the music and not so it's much about, about the, the show. It's about the music and it gives the opportunity for, you know, people that are coming to critique and the journalists to uh, see it without strings or props mm. and say, okay, it's uh, either black and white, either it's good or it's bad. And uh, they all walk away pretty satisfied, which is great. Thumbs up. Okay, that's good. Uh -huh. Have you been to Europe before? Yes, I have. Okay, so you're not just an American girl who's like, <gasps> first time in Europe. No, I'm always prepared for every situation, <laughs> <laughs> at least of late. Sometimes I'm caught off guard, but not usually or typically. Okay, but you're good at traveling. Uh-huh. Well, I have a lot of luggage, but I'm good. Okay, and how many people do you have in your team traveling with you? Who's the team behind you? Um, I have about 14 right now. Really? Uh, yeah. <gasps> Because, you know, some people go out and do promotional stuff and um, they do it to like a track or just to a backing tape. And I would never want to do that because it's not exactly what, um, how I want to be presented. So I, I brought my full band. I brought um, some technical people that come and do sound and make sure the mics are working and things like that. And, I have a tour manager. Um, I have my sister out here with me, Great. helping me, which is nice. Um, she's my older sister, so she's always kind of been like a mom. How much older? A lot? Two or? years. Two years. Yeah. Okay. And then um, I have my manager out with me on this run because he just wants to see how, you know, everything is going. But he's through. he's the most important guy, isn't he? Like to have him around. Um. Yes. I mean, he's the most important guy in the whole system. Um, but I think that my uh, tour manager, my band, everybody, I can't actually be without any of them. <laughs> it all kind of works together, you know, everybody is, um, I have a makeup artist out, which is a luxury. Yeah. I've never had that before, which is really nice. That's ni a nice thing when you're a girl to feel it's beautiful It's nice every day. when you're a girl and, um, you know, usually you're um, asking people to come uh, in different cities and stuff like that and oh my gosh I have to tell you that I, I had that um, a lot um, when I was doing other promotion in the States but I'd have different people every day and sometimes I would look like a drag queen yeah. <laughs> and some days I would look uh, you know it was just every day was a challenge because it was new people and I mean bless their hearts they they did their best but some of them were horrible Really? and blue eyeshadow and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, it was like, can I just want a little of this? And then I would turn around in the chair and I'd be like, ah! <laughs> and it would be time to go <laughs> and time to do the interview. And I, I, ha I would, there would be nothing I could do. And you have to work with it. Yeah. And people would just think, oh my God, that girl and her makeup. Oh, oh my God. God. <laughs> so tell me about, um, how does it feel that people overanalyze your lyrics? Because when you sing You're So Gay, I just think it's a fun song, but some people take it so seriously and a lot of gays are angry at you and feel really... I know you try to explain that you don't mean anything bad by your songs, but does it make you think a lot that people overanalyze you? Um, I mean, I'm never going around putting out fires that other people start and I never feel like I have to explain myself. I think when people ask me this question, I just answer it with, obviously they don't get the joke. And, um, you know, I think there's a certain, certain type of person that is 
always going to be offended by everything in life, you yeah. know. It's like 